Okay, so quick video on complete the indicated operations of, on polynomials. It says operations. Look, these are the operators. Remember your order of operations list, your PEMDAS. So the, your operators are your parentheses, your exponents, your multiplication, your division, addition, and subtraction. When you look at polynomials, you have to recognize which operator is being used. Here's a really common mistake right here. Um, people see these parentheses here and then the set of parentheses here. And they automatically assume that this is multiplication. And they say, oh, we'll just use FOIL. And they, because they've been brainwashed so many times to, to do that, that FOIL process. But what I'm asking you is, what's the thing that you're looking at right there that tells you that this is actually addition? So please don't be mad at me, but I'm just reminding you that just take a second before you start doing anything and recognize the operator. This is addition, isn't it? This is not multiplication. This is addition. It's adding this to this. So what I do is I look to the outside of the parentheses, and there's no number here, and there's no number here, so I assume that there's a 1, and you'll see why in just a second. There's a 1 here. This is just really good practice um, to help you avoid mistakes, like you'll see on question B. So all I'm going to do here is just, in my mind, I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to distribute that here, and I'm going to distribute this here, 1 times this, 1 times that. And I'm, I know you're going, Charlie, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. You're right. But it's a way to satisfy these parentheses, right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to satisfy the parentheses. And I'm going to get 8x squared plus 1. And then I'm going to do this little bit of math here. And this gives me plus 3x squared, doesn't it? Minus 2. I'm going to remember that as long as there's the same variable, this is really important, same variable and the same exponential value. So this is x squared. This is also x squared, so we can add them. We have 8x squareds here, 3x squareds here for a total of 11x squareds. Okay, I don't really pluralize everything I say, but just to get an idea here, right? So I use this, and I use this. I'm going to cross them out as I use them, a little Einsteinian advice here. And then 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1, isn't it? So there's our answer, I hope. Right? Okay. So moving on to the second question, first thing we're going to do here is this. We're going to look at this thing and ask ourselves what kind of question this is. Well, look, this is a, an addition problem, well, a subtraction problem, however you want to describe that. But we have, instead of a neg here we had a positive 1, instead of a, positive, a negative 1 here, we have a negative 2. So same thing, I'm going to distribute this negative 2 into here like this, right? I'm going to, uh, second most common mistake made in algebra is that when people distribute things, they don't distribute completely. So make sure you distribute this all the way across each term. So we're going to this times this, then this times this, and then lastly this times this, okay? Again, pretending there's a positive 1 out in front here. And then just going to do this little bit of math here, and this x squared minus 6x plus 5, right? This comes out a little bit different because now we have negative 2 times x squared, which is negative 2x squared, isn't it? And then negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And then negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4, isn't it? Okay, good. All right, and just keep moving a little bit. Now we're going to gather like terms. So this is the thing we were talking about in the last problem. We know we have x is here and here. And look, there's an x here. So I'm thinking, can I add all these values together? And the answer is no, but just have to take a second to figure out why that's true. And the reason it's not true is because here we have x squareds here, right? We have x squareds here, so we can add them. But here, this is 2x to the first power, right? So we can't add this one. So we have x squared minus 2x squared, which is just negative x squared, isn't it? So I use that, and I use this. And then look, here, this is negative 6. This is x to the first. These are x to the first, so negative 6 of them here, negative 2 of them here is negative 8x, x is, isn't it? Cross those out. Good. And then lastly, going to add our numbers together. And we have, right, this is 5 ones and negative 4 ones here. So we're going to add those together, and we get 5 minus 4 is just positive 1, isn't it? Okay, I'm just checking my math here, just making sure I did everything right. I did, didn't I? Right, we have this goes to negative, this goes to negative also, doesn't it? And this goes to negative. Okay, I'm going to stick with that answer. Okay, moving on to the next question. Hello. I'm going to try to move on to the next question here. Sorry. 
this one is really easy, right? We're just gonna, this is just complete distribution, isn't it? So to here, to here, and to here. So we have x times x squared is x to the third, isn't it? x times 6x is positive 6x squared, isn't it? And then x times 7 is positive 7x's. Remember, we have x to the third here, so we could add it to other x to the thirds, but not to x squareds, right? And not here. So none of these all have the same variable, but not the same exponential value, so they can't be added, right? Okay, so that problem is simplified, I think. All right, and we're going to just keep moving a little bit, move on to this next problem, D. And just, now this is just, just using this is a real pain, but look, I'm going to just go through this and just show you what this would look like. I'm going to have to distribute everything here against everything here. So in green, I'm going to, I'm sorry, in orange, I'm going to distribute everything, this x to everything over here, right? Right? And then after that, I'm going to have to go, then I'm going to have to distribute this term of negative 1, so I'm going to distribute that, right? So let's see what that would look like. So first, in or following the orange, right? So first, following this one right here. So x times x cubed is x to the fourth, isn't it? x times 2x squared is 2x cubed, isn't it? So 2x cubed. And x times positive 1 is positive x, isn't it? Now we have this. And this is something you have to really pay attention to here. This is a negative 1 here, isn't it? So here's this following in the green. So negative 1 times x cubed is negative x cubed, isn't it? Negative 1 times positive 2x squared is negative 2x squared, isn't it? And then lastly, negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. I think that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, so let's just now gather like terms, right? Uh, gather like terms here, and we have only this x to the fourth, right? So we have this x to the fourth here. So that's my x to the fourth, right? Now I'm looking for cubes. I have positive 2x two, two cubes here, negative x cubed here, right? And that gives us x cubed, right? So that gives us positive x cubed. That's us gathering our like terms, and they're alike. And here we have positive x. Oops. Right, we can't gather. There, we don't have any other x squareds, do we? So there's that negative 2x squared, right? There are, right, this is a x to the first power. So plus x minus 1. Probably you're getting bored by now because you're going, dear goodness, I have this figured out. But that's what this takes. It takes a lot of practice. Lastly, this is just FOIL, isn't it? So we could do this by FOIL, or this is difference of squares, right? DOS, difference of squares. So if you want to do it by FOIL, we would just do the same thing. Just to show you, FOIL is first, outer, inner, last. So first times first, outer times outer, right? Then go to the second term. And that's inner time, right, inner there, and then last, the last term here times the last term there. That's what the acronym FOIL stands for. And that will give us this, right? That will give us x times x is x squared. Sorry. x times x is, is x squared, right? And then negative 7x plus 7x minus 49. So if you recognize this as difference of squares, you'll know that this simplifies because negative 7x is plus 7x is, is 0. They cancel out, don't they? And our answer is x squared minus 49. Okay, you guys. Uh, I think we covered a lot of different possibilities here. I guess if I could give you any advice, if you're still with me, and I thank God that you are, if you're still with me, I think the key to it is decide what the operator is and follow the operator. So is it multiplication? How do you know? Because there's nothing in between here. Uh, if it's subtraction, how would you know? If it's addition, how would you know? And answer that question before you go any further, okay? All right, you guys, excellent work.